Exactly. Hello everybody, this is Brody Fancy. Well, hold on, let me pause this. Hello everybody, this is Brody Fancy 5.100, and today we are reacting to um My Little Pony, the original show, season seven, episode seventeen. Let's get started. I know it has Changelings, the good ones, Starlight, and Trixie. Trixie the hoe. To what you said, Trixie. Redesigning the hive, a dread mole worth Come here, Becky. Outside. Hey. It does sound like a lot, but Come here. are you sure that last thing is real? Wow. Oh, sure it is. Ow, my head. Like Here's my baby, Apple. Poppy. Say hi. Raging pile of claws. Uh -huh. Now that the changelings don't too. feed on the love of everything around them, plants have started yeah, to grow back. Mm -hmm. But this mole worth keeps eating them all up. Mole worth. Uh-huh. You're just trying God to damn it! Hold on. Hold on, guys. Because not only am I the great and powerful, I am also Bobby. the unscarable Trixie! <laughs> Please tell me Thorax also mentioned a terrifying looking changeling who greets visitors, but is actually nice? Nope. And I'm not nice. Bobby! You beautiful! Trixie, that's not how fucking magic works. Now you're supposed to do it. Should have let Starlight did it. Do it. What are you waiting for? Use some magic to get us out of here. Calm down, unscarable Trixie. We have to find out what's going on. Thorax might need our help. We need our help. Teleportation spell go. Teleportation spell go. Ah! Teleportation spell go. Why do you keep doing that? You know it doesn't work that way. I know! <laughs> guys, I... Guys, I've noticed something. Twilight is starting to act more like, um... Twilight a little bit more. She has that nervous thing, and she she's very sarcastic when it comes to Spike. It's kind of like Starlight is Twilight, and Trixie is Spike, when she says sarcastic and bullshit. Sarcast sarcastic bullshit stuff, you know? And it kind of reminds me of me and my buddy Markel, so yeah. Entered these trespassers. Starlight! Trixie! It's okay, Ferrex. You can let them go. But they were lurking on our grounds! In the old days, I would have already feasted on their love. Well, that's why they're called the old days, because they're old. We don't do that anymore. No, 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 we don't do that no more, baby. Yeah, and I like the old days better. What are you two doing here? We well, wanted to surprise you. Surprise! Yay! Well, it's great to see you. I'm sorry about the welcome committee. <laughs> I thought Ember helped you get more assertive so you could deal with all the renegade changelings who didn't want to change. Oh, she did. Really helpful. I was able to convince all of them to change, except one of them, my brother. Your brother? Yep, Pharynx is my elder broodmate. Oh, yeah. You guys have the same... eye shape? What a ridiculous comparison. We are nothing alike. <sighs> I think I'm not liking not that character, that. his brother. I look better with holes. How about I show you the rest of the hive, where it's less loud and bangy? There have been a lot of changes since you were here last. I'm trying to start some new activities, since the only thing we did before was hunt and patrol. There's Peter. Swing dancing. A once a week potluck lunch. Ooh, and who can change shape and organize craft time? Hmm? This guy. I 
am really impressed, Thorax. The hive, all the activities. Oh, he did it again. Faring stumped an entire can of black paint on me. He said my fuchsia color wasn't intimidating to our enemies. What enemies? I am so sorry. I promise I'll talk to him. You're the ruler of the hive, Thorax. You need to do more than talk. Well, maybe not Ooh. everything here is amazing. Seriously, Thorax, what is up with your brother? Ugh. Faring used to be head of patrol, but now we're peaceful and there's no need to patrol, so he just stalks around the hive making everyone miserable. The other changelings are sick of it, and if I can't get him to accept love and friendship and change like the rest of us, everything I've done here is at risk. Uh-uh. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. We know a thing or two about you, you bitch. outsiders. Maybe we could talk to him for you. Do you really think you could help? Thorax, if there's any pony who can help your brother, it's me. And with I know Starlight, Starlight was like, bitch, who's right next stronger. inside you and knows and more about friendship than you do? At least a little bit more. Thorax, we're ready to start work on the trail of plants to lead them all work away. No, Fucking no, nerd. You're sure you're okay handling Ferrix? Absolutely. Yeah, we totally got this. Nope. <laughs> so, how do you want to play this? I'm thinking good pony, bad pony. You oh, she's trying to say good cop, it. bad cop. Natural charisma will convince him that. Uh, no. Starlight? Trixie Ellis. Hey, Pharynx! I know when we first met, it didn't go so well. I put you in a bag. I thought it went great. Oh! So. Shit. Not a big fan of the vines, huh? Very the vines. An enemy could hide in them or use them as well. Not a big fan of the vines, huh? You guys. You guys kind of saw like what I was get hitting at there the vines so not a big fan of the vines right yeah vines are dead the vine is dead damn it play the video weapons I don't even know why they're here because they're pretty that's ridiculous oh, totally we get you but maybe don't express how you feel by destroying them I don't take advice from ponies the only thing I take from you is breakfast at least I used to. You know, you're a lot like us. Doubt it. It's true. Do you know who Twilight Sparkle is? No. Well, she's the most well-liked, studious, do-goodiest pony in Equestria. Ugh, she sounds awful. Oh, you'd hate her. I used to. She made me unsure about my place in the world, which led me to act out against her. And I used to be a dictator who ran a village with an iron hook. Really? Hmm. That is not true. You just you used the staff and took everybody's cutie marks. You be all. But yeah, she was a dictator. No, she and was I no longer control ponies against their will, and our lives are so much better for it. Wow. So you're both losers. Stay away from me, or I'll do to you what I did to the vines. Oh my God! All warp away is coming along. How to go with Pharynx? Your brother is, um, challenging. Oh, that bad, huh? It wasn't great. You want to talk it out? You can come with me to the feelings forum. The feelings what now? Oh, it's a place for changelings to express their feelings so we all gain a better understanding of each other. It's really helped bring the hive closer together. Sometimes I feel like I'm a blue changeling. Sometimes I feel like I'm a purple changeling. But here I am, a green one. You can be anything you want to be. Be blue one day and purple the next. Be both on the same day. But then I feel like I'd be living a lie. It's very brave of you to share something so personal. Does anyone else have similar concerns? I used to, but the craft time has given me such a creative outlet. I feel great now. Uh -huh. Everyone loves craft time. I oh, know. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone except for you know who. Yeah, you know who spends all his craft time making spears. He's scary and intimidating. You know who makes me uncomfortable. He makes us all uncomfortable. Everyone, please. 
I understand Ferenc can be challenging at times. That's an understatement. He lined the hallway with thorns. He teaches little changelings to growl and hiss. My suit's too hot. What? What does that have to do with the conversation? Fuck. It sounds like your lame feelings forum is for talking about me behind my back. The feelings forum is for talking about anything that's bothering you. Is there something you'd like to share, Ferenc? Actually, there is. The changelings used to be a fearsome swarm. Now we sit around talking about our feelings so much, you can't even stop a malware from eating all your pretty plants. I could have sent that thing packing before, but I guess now we'll just try to lead it away and hope that keeps us safe. I don't feel safe with him around. I feel safer if you were gone. I can't do that. We are your parents! Don't worry. Oh, 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 oh,
something. And the dread mall work is coming this way. Charles? Yes? That doesn't make any sense. The trail of plants should have led the dread mall wharf away. Uh, I might have relayed them to lead it back toward the hive. Why would you do that? I thought if Faring saw you were in danger, the loving, caring side of him would come out when he protected you. But instead he's out there alone, somewhere between us and that rampaging monster? I have to save him. I'm coming with you. Of course you are. This is all your fault. Oh, don't be too hard on Starlight. Her heart was in the right place. You're coming too. Oh, right. I mean, I was gonna volunteer anyway. Who else is coming? Oh, I'm about to say, I thought they were about to start screaming. Oh, sure. You can all stay here. Not help Bearings, then he won't bother you anymore. It's your choice. But remember when you didn't have a choice. When you were forced to obey Chrysalis. You might have been unstoppable, but you weren't free to choose. And now you are, because of Thorax. Well, it's his brother out there. And now it's your chance to prove you're just as strong, embracing love as you were feeding on it. Now is your chance to show what changelings can really be. Oh my God, that face, to, though. But because you choose to! That was an amazingly epic speech, Starlight. I just can't believe not a single changeling was moved by it. I can't blame them. If he wasn't my brother, I don't think I'd be here. We're gonna have to face the mall wharf by ourselves. Maybe it'll be long gone and we'll find fairings out here alone. Or maybe not. in my letters that mall warps have really thick hides. I thought you said you could keep this thing. Yeah, with the rest of the swarm. Not alone. Good thing you're not alone. I told you it was an epic speech.
want me to stay? Unless you still want to leave the hive. Why would I want that? I love the hive. Yes! Oh, he's turning good. Good person. Turn the tables on the starlight and yeah. what's his name? Let's talk about how you not only led the mall wharf to the hive, but also drove my brother away from it. I am so sorry about that, uh, but I would like to point out that my admittedly terrible plan did bring everything together in the end. Uh. Hey, do you guys want to hear the story about how I used to make Thorax hit himself? Oh, absolutely, yes, right now. Well, when we were young, every changeling wanted to be a warrior. Except for Thorax. He was a little weak. And I had to win. That was a good ending. Little pony. Okay, guys, we're going to have to end the video there. This is Brody Fancy 5.100. See you guys later. This was an awesome episode, bro.